on out, my laddie. I can hear you. Cool. Oh yeah. What was that? Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 Campaign with me, Spacefish. Now as you guys know, I swapped my computer, so I was kind of scared we were going to lose all our campaign progress. And while I do not have the save files from the first two episodes of the campaign anymore, I did manage to find a way to unlock the campaign. So if you guys ever run into this situation as well, where you're back at the start and all the campaign is locked again, you want to kind of play where you left off and don't have to play everything all over again, there's a way to do that. Uh, I will try and remember to leave a link to that uh, tutorial on how to do it in my description down below. If I do forget, however, um, be sure to Google it. It's pretty straightforward to find. It's just like uh, unlock campaigns in Transport Fever 2. And it's like some sort of Steam guide. It's literally like a small, uh, just a small profile file that you have to edit with a standard Windows editor. It's a five minute thing and then you're pretty much done. Um, so I did that, and thus, we will just get going where we left off. So, here we are. The of Britain, in the midst of the Victorian era, the industrial city of Glasgow is bursting at the seams. The factories are working full blast, but the competition is not sleeping. In terms of economic issues, the countries in continental Europe have long since caught up. Something must be done to stop the cradle of the Industrial Revolution from falling behind. Anyone who doesn't tow the line now will fall by the wayside. Okay, cool. So, back to good old Britain. Well, north of Britain, Glasgow. It's a bit further up. Um, yeah, let's see what this is all about. At the brink of the Industrial Revolution. Sounds pretty interesting. So I'm thinking this will probably take a few minutes to load though. So uh, I'll place a quick cut here and I'll be right back with you guys. Right, and here we are guys. Back from the loading screen. Hopefully soon, eventually. Just kind of still... Scotland. Yeah, there we go. Good old Scotland. The land of enlightenment. The land of progress. The land of science. The land of industry. The Glasgow City Council wants to modernize the transport infrastructure so that the city remains the vibrant industrial metropolis that it is today in the future. Hey, well. self moving minecarts. <laughs> With your transport company, you're as good as predestined for this sort of contract. The shipyards on the Firth of Clyde have been famous for their sturdy boats for quite some time. New processes for the mass production of high quality steel are now opening up previously undreamt of possibilities. A member of the city council recently proposed to you during a pheasant hunt whether you'd like to supply his friends in the shipbuilding industry with this essential material. Of course Coal I'd like to. are available in abundance in the areas around Glasgow. Off to the blast furnace with them. Sweet. Okay. Deliver coal and iron ore to the steelworks in Glasgow. Okay. Wait, there's steelworks in actual Glasgow? I've never seen that. Wait, no. They want steel. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say I never saw industry within a city. 50 million. I mean, you could just go do a cheeky thing, you know, and... <laughs> place the train, but honestly, this is like literally no distance whatsoever. Um, let's just place a road depot for the time being, shall we? And then, uh, well, we'll kind of see what options we have, but I think doing a train station for this is most certainly very much overkill. Um, horse carriage, so seriously. I don't know, like... Ugh. I 
kind of I kind of despise just putting horse garages all over the place again to be honest then again this is like I think this is a 400 frequency he needs 400 okay let's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a train because I love trains who doesn't right who does not love trains I mean, you guys are watching this, so I'm pretty sure you guys love trains as well. Look at this building. Yeah, that's because I'm doing a passenger building. Whoa, that was a close one. Um, <laughs> so, camera, thank you very much. Um, how are we going to do this? We are going to do it like that, maybe? That should work. Then we are going to go do another cargo station here. And yes, I know guys, we probably would not need a train in all, but... As I said, who doesn't love trains? <laughs> what else do I say? <laughs> who does not love trains? But yeah, we're going to do another cargo station here, then we can... Do we need to... Yeah, let's not do a terminus. Um, let's do that here. And um, let us do... Do a terminus here. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to eventually connect that up there, but we can do, probably do that by ship, so... I wouldn't think... Like, I mean, I've got so much money, I could probably just build a huge bridge across, but... Well... It's probably not what we're going to be supposed to do. So... These guys want their steel, and they want it sort of in the center of Glasgow. So I'm going to have to remove some buildings, I do think. It's probably the best way to do it. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to need to actually expand the street somewhere out here to kind of hope that these guys get steel as well. Wait, no. Wrong street. I would kind of like to avoid removing that building, but it doesn't look like we'll have any luck on that one. Unless... Could probably do this. Let's see. It looks like this is working. Nice, look at that. Just doing a little bridge across. It's actually pretty nice. Like, I mean, it looks kind of a bit. Well, no. It looks kind of a bit weird. Maybe we can just. Ah, uh, we can't really look, make it look a lot better just because the incline here is... Uh, it's kind of got to be that way so that even fits. So we'll just keep it that way. Whatever. Well, that's nice. So we've got this attached. Um, yeah, let's uh, get rid of this part of the street here. And then we will start building some tracks. Cool. Um, am I actually attached to this thing here? Yeah, attached to the tracks. So, we will have this go straight for a lot of money with a tunnel, but we are swimming in the money anyways. Like, I don't know, that's kind of the thing, to be honest, guys, that's annoying me about the campaigns. Not, like, it's not really the main thing that annoys me. It's not really that you're losing your progress or anything. It's more kind of... I've got 50 million dollars, like, what could even go wrong? I'm literally just fulfilling tasks without, well, like, any economical challenge or risk. So, I don't know. Like... I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's, it's really just not that exciting to me right now. Let's see, maybe it'll get a little more exciting over time. But then again, I mean, the campaign is not the main purpose of this game. The main purpose is doing free mode, doing your own thing, having fun with that. I mean, look at these views. It's awesome. And uh, I think maybe eventually, like potentially when we're done with the campaign, we could start a modded series as well, even though I'm not sure if it's possible to keep a modded copy and a standard copy of Transport Fever alongside each other. So that's something for me to find out, but we'll see, we'll see. So, we will we could probably put a train depot back here. It's probably the best idea. Do it that way. And then, just like one, and the two, and 
and uh, oh, we can do that way. Sorry, my phone just vibrated on the desk there. I hope you guys didn't hear that. Perfect. Nice. I mean, that works. So we want one line, which is the whole line. I'm not going to do any specific names here like I'm usually doing in the... Uh, oh, I messed it up. Uh, like I am usually doing in my free mode just because well, there's literally just Glasgow here and nothing else. So shouldn't be too complicated, right? Then we will do the iron line, probably. Just from here to here. Call it the iron line. Uh, line, rather. And then we will do another one, which will go from here to here. And we will call it the steel line. Perfect, cool. Um, let's just check out the terminals real quick to make sure that everything is working as intended here. Steel line is on the one, which is good. The coal line is on the two, and the iron line is on the three. Perfect. So we'll need trains. Um, oh, we've got the price already. Nice. I like that train. Price is always nice. We can probably pick the gondola. Yeah, for a coal and iron, we'll pick the gondola. I'll just do a bunch, honestly, because one, we don't care for money. And two, I just want to get to max frequency right away. Because why not? If you have the money already, you may as well do it. So, you go to coal line. And then we will... We'll just buy the same thing again. You will go to the iron line. And then... Oh, do I really need to delete? I mean, I probably could have closed this right. But hey. So, then we'll get another one. With a flat car. Well, not with one, but with a bunch of them. Buy that, and you will go to the steel line. Perfect. That should be everything assigned. Let's have a look at this then. Just like that, maybe. No, just trying to get new screenshots for all the Instagram posts and whatever, guys. Got to feed you guys with those after all, right? So it seems to steal. Uh, train is actually coming out first, even though it was the last one, which is interesting. But yeah, you're... Oh no, 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 I was going to say that that's a coal train. Okay, cool. Uh, let's, uh, the coal train. Interesting. Um, let's send these guys out for the time being. And then this is actually going to look super funny again, just like it did in free mode. We're gonna have a super long train with a super short cargo station here. Look at that. <laughs> Half the train's still in the tunnel, but you know, it's still filling up. Let's check out the frequencies here. Wow. <laughs> We've kind of overdone it just a bit. But hey, who cares? We are swimming in money. Um, ah, here's my... Cool. Coal and iron. So coal's been delivered. Here comes all the iron. Oh, just look at that. Let's follow the... That's the wrong button. Yeah, I mean, that works. Here's the iron ore. Shipyards crave steel. Colossal tubs. Bigger the better. Yeah, deliver 10 steel. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Whenever the train comes back, there it is. We hopefully will. Look at that. Steel beams flying around. I've actually not seen those so far. We are not that far in free mode just yet. Townhouses are divided into three land uses. Townhouses. Oh yeah, right. Probably industry, commercial, and uh, well, like living space, right? Industrial, residential, commercial. Yep, just as I thought. Cool. Kind of like SimCity, right? It's also three. Is it three? I think it's three there as well. Sweet, um, how much steel does this train actually have? Let me check it out whenever it comes out. Cool, nearly done. Doing good so far. I would say we are pretty fast with this part of the campaign so far. Let's see if we can keep at it though. And plunk, and the cell. Cool. So, yeah, lines are starting to get profitable. Make it possible to build particularly yeah. seaworthy ships. Oh, Time oh. To make use of these yeah, as I said before. Sustenance for the city's working masses is found out on the islands. 
Delectable fish swim in the sea. This is the distillery. The and the Hebrides produce an absolutely exquisite ah. whiskey. It's called okay. the water of life. <laughs> water Get of out life. there and explore the area. Okay, yeah, um needs a harbor. I know, Your okay, harbor, needs yeah. A particularly good one. Okay. Um, let's build a harbor. Nice. So that's the, gonna be the first time that we are actually uh, gonna build a harbor with you guys, which we didn't do that before in the other mode. Even though I really, really, really want to take care of that. But yeah. Help to build cool. a shipyard so that it won't be long before you can call a beautiful ship your own. Wait. So they're producing ships already. But I need to build a shipyard anyway, so that doesn't sound very, uh, logical. Buy a ship, sounds good. Um, so we've got the Wilhelm the first, and we've got to Nara Castle. I mean, this can carry more. It's got more loading speed, less emissions. I mean, this would be the obvious choice, right? I'm gonna pick this anyways, just because we're probably never gonna buy it in free mode, and I I kind of want to see all the available vehicles, right? So um, why not go with something unconventional just to show you guys all the vehicles that exist? And honestly, oh I can't. Oh this is actually a bummer. I can't actually get the camera up. This would have been a nice. I mean this is nice as well. This is actually really nice. Look at this. That's another Instagram screenshot right there, isn't it? Cool. Um, so, establish a route. Have ships sail to the harbor of Port Ellen Harbor. Port Ellen Harbor. Oh, there's a harbor here already. Okay, I see. Cool. Um, new line. One, two. That's the whiskey line. What was it, whiskey? I think it was whiskey, right? Well, whatever it is, it's the whiskey line now. There, there we go. First boat. Come on out. Come on out, my laddie. I can hear you. Cool. Well, yeah. What was that? I did not speed up the time. You guys can have a look back. I did not speed up the time, definitely. But yeah, this is cool. Oh. She has a cannon. <laughs> we can now shoot people. Perfect. Um, wait, wrong game. Um, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but yeah, as I said, I just, I literally bought this thing just because we would probably never buy it in free mode. It's like obviously the inferior ship to the other one. And the other one is probably always going to be available already when we start doing ships. So, well, just to make sure that we actually um, check all the available vehicles in this game out, I did this instead then. And look at it. It's looking cool, isn't it? Got a little captain back there. Some benches to sit on if you want it. Does it carry passengers as well if you want to? Industry is no clue. Thanks to your services, oh. it's well, campaign is going on. Is need for in steel. Conference, a lack of personnel looms on the horizon. Nowadays, the city's working class is outrageously spoiled. Workforce is rebelling more and more against the prevailing working conditions. Oh God. On the other hand. In the Highlands, hmm. countless hungry people wait I'll to find out how I'll do that. All that needs to be done is to get them to the city. Build a railroad in the wild west of the Highlands so that this remote stretch of land finally experiences hmm. the blessing. Okay, this is kind of an issue. I kind of forgot to place an additional train track just in case I need to go up here. And now I do. Oof, okay. Um, so we will build a train station up here. We will not make it a terminus because maybe we're not going to connect this via uh, by sea or whatever. So just to make sure, you know, I'm going to do it like this. Pass completed. Steam up in the harbor. Nice. 
So, I mean, this is going to be pretty straightforward, right? We literally just pull this down. Don't need to care about money anyways. Um, like I'm thinking I would maybe... Let's do that. I'm literally just going to do this. I've got so much money. Who cares, right? It's literally, I've got so much money. Who even cares? Um... What's going on here now? Oh god, I'm actually going pretty far below the surface and I don't really know what it's like flat. Oh actually I can check it out here probably. Okay. Let's keep going like that. Doing underground public transport, sort of, I guess. Okay, let's come up. Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite yet. We will come out here, I guess. Cool, that's quite a long tunnel, but it works. It may look a bit weird here. In some places, but it works. Good. Now, um... Now, we can just... Wait, I'm just gonna connect it up until here. Then I'm gonna expand the train station. By putting some tracks here. One, two, three, four. Wait, that's actually uh, whatever. No, actually not whatever. It's gonna be pretty weird to connect that. Otherwise, just like that. Then we need some passenger. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. Let's get rid of that bridge again, because you know. Ah. Bye, bridge. Um, well, that's just going to be the way it has to be. We're going to leave this as a memorial, right? It's just to uh, a poor bridge that had to die so young. But yeah, there we go. Passenger platform and uh, we need passenger buildings as well. So, we will do a medium main building. Just remove this thing here. Then we will... Why would you do that? Can you, like, not do that? Okay, let's just do, try and do a small side street, maybe? Oh, God, no. Whoa. What is happening? Okay. Bye. Sorry, building, but you have to go. Cool, okay, so we have a passenger station here. We have got a passenger station there. And we kind of need to connect these train tracks so we can still use the train depot. So let's do that. And then, create a new line. From here, to here. Are you for real? Why? Why not? You're not supposed to go via that track. Or did I? No. It's going here. It's going here, here. Why? Ah, right. That is probably an issue. If you don't finish building the tracks. No, that's not where I told you to start. What do you mean construction not possible? What do you mean? What is your issue? Is that the issue? Fire industry building, by the way. Nope. Okay, let's try and terraform this. Flatten. That's actually the first time I'm using terraforming, I think, guys. Okay, th this should honestly work. What the? What's your issue here? Let's try here. 
Why? What have I done to you that you treat me like this? Um, for real? I just start from the other end and it works? That's actually pretty interesting. Okay, awesome. Next thing on the list, we will have to transport 20 people to Glasgow. But I think, guys, this is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. Uh, I definitely have. If you did, please, as always, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on any future episodes. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Thank you